بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everybody uh, this is Dr. Tarif Al Daghestani uh, consultant is the best in BSMMC and uh, my talk be uh, about endotracheal intubation in COVID-19 patient as a part you know of the uh, ICS uh, COVID disaster plan for non ICU staff training April 2020. Uh, this is uh, our objectives about uh, our uh, uh, topic. So first, uh, uh, what are the challenges in uh, intubation of COVID-19 patients? So actually, we have three main challenges here. It is uh, this intubation in this uh, group of patients is an aerosol uh, generating procedure. So we should protect the staff and ourselves. And uh, it is a critical patient, so we should uh, maintain uh, the patient uh, uh, stability. And uh, also, on top of that, might, the patient might have difficult airway features, it's add more challenge. So our goals in approaching airway in those patients to be safe for the staff and the patient and accurate to avoid any real, unrealable or unfamiliar or repeated techniques and to be swift to do the procedure timely without rush or delay. We know that airway uh, management in critical patient is more, more risky compared to the OR patient. So difficult airway, it's, uh, uh, we can face in 10 to 12, even to reach sometimes to 15% more. Incidence of hypotension in those patients reach to 25%. Uh, more uh, uh, incidence of uh, hypoxemia, also about 25% and other complications also. And by definition, you know, difficult uh, airway uh, is defined as uh, when you need to uh, do three or more attempts to achieve uh, your uh, uh, intubation. And this is what's called the physiological difficult airway. In especially in critical patient uh, when uh, there is airway uh, edema and distortion. It adds more uh, challenge and difficulty. First, don't forget uh, to don appropriate PPE as recommended by WHO and CDC uh, because in the trick activation aerosol generating uh, procedure, uh, don't forget this. So protect yourself properly, uh, get your you know, uh, 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 goggles, uh, uh, N95 mask or equivalent mask, uh, waterproof gown, uh, single uh, uh, glove, and optional sometimes uh, your show cover. Uh, uh, you can use also a uh, full uh, face shield. Uh, basically, you should have a fitness test for N95. If not, or uh, there is a beard. So uh, a popper is recommended to use a popper uh, to protect yourself and others. Uh, the room, uh, the procedure should be in negative pressure room or you should have a HIPAA filter unit. Um, uh, uh, should we intubate, uh, uh, which patient should we intubate actually? After assessment, uh, you know, those patients will have viral pneumonia and might develop acute respiratory failure at any, at any time. So once the patient has, you know, a severe respiratory distress or severe hypoxemia, this means that the patient needs ventilatory support, either to be non-invasive or invasive. If the patient is candidate for non-invasive or high flow nasal cannula, uh, we can uh, start this, like a conscious patient, hemodynamically stable, Healthy, young, immunocompromised. This you can. There is no time rule here for non-invasive or high flow nasal cannula. But uh, don't forget, you should not wait for long time. Uh, you can just uh, as a trial for one to two hours maximum. Then if the patient improve, uh, the patient uh, improve, it's okay. You can continue. If no improvement, you should go to the intubation and invasive mechanical ventilation. Or the patient from the beginning is unconscious or in hemodynamic shock or already developed multiple organ failure or elderly with comorbidities, so intubation should be done as early as possible. Uh, we have to assess the airway before we proceed for intubation. So uh, we can check the mouth opening. The, if it is less than three centimeters, 
so you expect difficulty and ma and uh, neck uh, mobility also uh, should be uh, uh, should be uh, uh, you know enough uh, angle of uh, movement uh, if the patient has uh, cervical collar uh, like in trauma it's uh, it's considered as difficulty so and the assessment should be by expert definitely uh, the other assessment is Malimbati score. So uh, you can uh, basically it should be done in sitting position. If not possible, the patient cannot uh, in sitting position. So you can do it in supine so position. Uh, if the patient is Malimbati uh, uh, grade three or four, you expect uh, difficulty. So grade three, if the, you can see only the part of uvula, and grade four, if you cannot see even the uvula, you can see only the, the uh, hard bullet. So this means that you expect difficulty and by laryngoscopy, you can see only here, the grade three, only the epiglottis and the grade four, or you can, you cannot see even, you can see only the, uh, the ballot. And again, the assessment should be by expert operator. Makocha score, actually, this is uh, uh, newly uh, used now and recommended by uh, Difficult Airway Society uh, algorithm and guidelines to be used in a critical patient because it's considered not only the, the patient factor, it's considered the, uh, the patient factor, the pathology, and the operator factor. So for the patient factor, as we mentioned before, the Malimbati score, three or four, so uh, you can, uh, it's five points for difficulty. Obstructive sleep apnea syndrome, two points for difficulty. Reduced mobility of the cervical spine, it is one point, and limited mouth opening, less than three centimeter, one point. And uh, uh, the factor is it to the pathology. If the patient in coma already, it uh, will limit the examination and assessment. So it will give one point for difficulty. If the patient hypoxemic already, one point. And the other is related to the operator. If non anesthetist or non expert, so we'll add one point for difficulty. Uh, if Makocha score is uh, three point or more, uh, you consider uh, difficult intubation. So we need special preparation and be ready for uh, for this. Uh, for uh, the expert operator, not necessary to be, uh, you know, anesthetist. So it can be a, 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 a ICU resident or fellow. Um, uh, for anesthesia, at least should be uh, at the end of uh, second year in the residency, and for the ICU should be at at least at the. Uh, end of the third year of residency or fellow two. Uh, then what's the plan for intubation? If the Makocha score is less than three, so we can go for as regular preparation and rapid sequence uh, induction. If Makocha score is a three or more, so difficult airway is uh, anticipated and you should prepare some more tools uh, or difficult airway trolley and you should prepare for uh, uh, front of neck access to be ready for picothyroidotomy at any time and should be done uh, only by senior anesthetist or senior intensivist. Um, and uh, in those patients, COVID-19 patients, actually awake intubation technique is not uh, preferred, not advised due to the aerolization of the, uh, the virus, unless it is top priority and should be done only by expert hand. For preparation, should prepare the equipment, prepare the team, and prepare the patient. So for equipment, we should have actually preparation checklist to not forget anything, two uh, endotracheal uh, tube, uh, two scopes, uh, 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 plus minus, uh, plus, uh, non, plus direct laryngoscope, uh, tube clamp, uh, ambo bag, and uh, mask. Uh, airways, you know, nasopharyngeal or pharyngeal, you should have a filter, a HME filter with antiviral filter, you know, this is important to protect the staff uh, with sometimes extension you need it, you know, uh, subroglytic uh, airway like LMA or other, you know, Buji uh, and suction and uh, NGT. Um, also, a uh, beep uh, valve is important uh, in case of the patient's hypoxemic, it can help to, uh, to maintain oxygenation. And actually, you should uh, have a preparation checklist to not forget anything. And uh, we have it actually in our uh, uh, department, ICS. 
Uh, Buji is very important uh, and very useful tool to guide your tube uh, during intubation and uh, it's very important to be available always. Uh, Sobrocritic airway, it's a rescue tool and can save life in case uh, you fail to intubate the patient. Uh, front of neck access, uh, you need all the very simple, uh, you need just to, uh, to have, you know, scalpel size 10 or 20, uh, endotracheal uh, tube uh, size 5 to 6, and uh, bougie so to do uh, what's called scalpel cricocytotomy in case needed. This is our uh, mobile uh, bag uh, uh, intubation kit in our uh, uh, ICS department and it will be available with the rapid response team at any time with a checklist up, as you see here. Uh, drugs uh, should be prepared for rapid sequence induction. Ketamine is preferred in hemodynamic and stable patient, or you can prepare also propofol or etomidate. Uh, muscle relaxant is very important, oxymetonium or rocuronium. You should man uh, keep uh, maintenance sedation with you. Uh, to, uh, to prevent the patient wake up, you know, after uh, intubation and cough and uh, this uh, being dangerous. Uh, and should be bare vasopressor inotrope uh, like phenylephrine uh, or norepinephrine, the butamine, to maintain hemodynamic stability around, uh, in, before intubation or during, and during intubation. Uh, IV fluid is important to give a bolus uh, before induction. In case of airway difficulty by uh, Makocha uh, score, three or more, so you need more tools to be ready, like intubating LMA that you can intubate through LMA or so, uh, through subrogatic airway if available. You should have straight blade uh, in case you have floppy uh, 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 epiglottis, so you can use a straight blade, you know, and uh, hyperangulated video is very useful in case of difficulty or fiber optic scope. So hyperangulated uh, uh, video arigoscope, uh, um, it, it has a special stylet or fiber, uh, fiber optic scope also in case of difficulty should be available. Uh, you should, you know, in, uh, in this procedure, it's again, it's a risky procedure to the staff and others. So, you should actually put uh, your team into uh, split in two teams, in two parts. You know, uh, uh, one is out uh, outside to be uh, keep outside. Uh, one staff run uh, to as a runner. If you need anything, medication, uh, equipment, and so on. And three inside uh, the main uh, the the incubator is the most appropriate uh, uh, operator or the more ex uh, the expert one. And the one for uh, drugs and monitor, and this can be uh, R RRT nares. And the one for uh, cricoid uh, pressure and uh, equipment can be RT, for example. Okay, uh, the one who's uh, uh, inside, the one who's uh, outside, sorry, no need to have full uh, protective uh for uh, as recommended uh, for covid 19 patient it's already it's only because it's clean area outside so it can wear only surgical mask apron and gloves uh before going inside the room you should prepare your circuit uh, which uh, consists of the bag mask uh, bag uh, valve mask device plus, uh, plus uh, you connect to hme filter its antiviral effect and uh, with uh, uh, entire the CO2 wave capnography is recommended uh, and plus minus extension might be needed and beep bulb also uh, uh, if you need it to, to use in hypoxemic patient and this is you can put the filter sometimes here in the exhalation port here between the beep bulb and the uh, uh, bag uh, to prevent you know the uh, Aerialization outside uh, to the staff. Uh, once go inside, so the most appropriate clinician should manage the airway, as we mentioned, or expert one, and don't use techniques that you you uh, you are uh, uh, you don't you are not familiar or you didn't use before, uh, or you are not trained. So use what is familiar to you, what is easy to you. 
like for example if you are if you have experience on video microscope so use it is preferred but we don't have you can uh, just you have experience only in direct laryngoscope okay go ahead and uh, do intubation by direct laryngoscope uh, monitor you have to apply uh, uh, saturation ecg blood pressure uh, and inside the co2 you can connect to the uh, monitor uh, then you, you have to optimize your patient. So the best position, the uh, patient should be head up 25 to 20 or 45 degrees up. And if uh, uh, have some, uh, you know, spine issues, so you can put him on reverse and then bury. Then uh, optimize the condition. Uh, you get two IV access, maintain hemodynamic stability by fluid plus minus vasopressor inotrope. Aspirate the NGT if the patient has NGT already aspirated. The patient basically should be MBO. Apply surgical mask uh, beneath the supplemental oxygen to prevent the staph. If the patient cough uh, to prevent the secretion to get out. And then re oxygenate the patient. Uh, for more protection, if you have, you know, the plastic uh, drip, a clear plastic drape or if you have aerosol box it would be better to protect the staff and this actually we have our plastic drape in our equipment in uh, uh, in ICS department. Uh, Pre-oxygenation is very important uh, to denitrogenate the, the lung, the alveoli and increase functional residual capacity as oxygen reservoir in the lung. And this will give you, uh, will increase what's called safe apnea time, will give you more time for manipulation of uh, on the airway and intubation. So uh, needed for all patients before induction and recommended. And you can achieve uh, this by uh, apply the bag uh, valve mask device, the AMBO bag, uh, with well-fitting mask and get, let, let the patient to breathe uh, for three to five minutes. Uh, the, uh, an underbreather mask, high flow nasal cannula, or uh, 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 non invasive ventilation is not recommended for reoxygenation in uh, uh, COVID 19 patients because uh, there is a risk of virus sterilization. And if the patient is agitated, you can just give some, uh, you can give low dose of ketamine 0.5 to 1 milligram per kg to facilitate reoxygenation. And this is what's called sometimes delayed sequence induction. Because we have some delay to get the patient uh, uh, sedated and to, uh, for proper reoxygenation. Uh, what is modified rapid sequence induction? Actually, uh, it's uh, 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 we need to give the patient uh, sedation, sedative first or hypnotic, and follow immediately by uh, muscle by rapid muscle uh, relax, relax, uh, relaxant. So we can we get the patient. If, uh, uh, relax and ready for intubation in short time, about 60 seconds. So first we re oxygen the patient as we mentioned, then uh, we put the patient in position uh, and significant position for intubation. We give the induction uh, medication and paralysis, muscle relaxant, then free code pressure to prevent aspiration. It's an option, it can be applied. And then we can confirm uh, the tube uh, and post intubation by to, do, uh, to uh, secure the tube and chest X-ray. Um, uh, sniffing position is uh, recommended for uh, 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 direct laryngoscopy. This is a standard uh, to and uh, 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 the goal for this to align uh, uh, the three axes together, uh, oral axis, pharyngeal axis, and laryngeal axis. And it's better to put some small height below, like five centimeter under uh, the head. It will uh, give best laryngoscopy view and facilitate intubation. Uh, for induction, we'll give uh, in hemodynamic and stable, in hemodynamic and stable patient, we'll give ketamine, this is uh, preferred and recommended, one to two milligram per kg. If the patient is stable, we have other option. We can give etomidate 0.2 to 0.3 milligram per kg or uh, propofol 1.5 to 2 milligram per kg. Then we follow immediately by muscle uh, relaxant, uh, neuromuscular blocker. Uh, 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 should be air, as early as uh, practical to avoid coughing for those patients. So we can use uh, rocuronium, uh, dose of uh, 1.2 milligram per kg or saxamitronium. Uh, 1.5 milligram per kg. 
if you need after uh, giving the medication induction if you need to ventilate the patient uh, uh, you should apply uh, uh, mask ventilation by using ambo bag uh, in what's called the ve grip or technique uh, rather than ce technique the the usual one so ve technique it's improve seal and minimize the gas leak the induction as you see here uh, use video angioscope if you have good experience. Actually, it's uh, the angle, the vision angle is better with uh, video angioscope. It uh, improves the laryngoscopy view and uh, has benefit in difficult airway. So uh, it's encouraged to be used if there is experience and if you are familiar to use it. And it's preferred actually because uh, in COVID-19 patient to because it decreases aerialization of virus. The normal views will be like this. If you have uh, views like this, uh, here like a globetic patient, very fragile and bloody, you know, uh, floppy uh, epiglottitis, and here edema, uh, and here subglottic stenosis, you will have uh, difficulty, expect difficulty. Intubate the patient uh, women with uh, size seven to eight and uh, men with size eight to nine and prefer to use subglottic uh, suction board ETT uh, that you can suction the sub, uh, we have with subglottic suction that increase ventilated associated pneumonia and it's recommended now. So if you have it, use it and it's actually available in our center. Then the vast the endotracheal tube one to two centimeter below the vehicle cords and note the depth. Uh, then you have to confirm uh, the ETT uh, position. So uh, there is the clinical side which is unreliable here, uh, especially with uh, the, the PPE. Uh, it's difficult to do auscultation, for example, and to observe the patient, uh, all co covered also by uh, no uh, clear plastic and so on. So uh, we'll go to a reliable sign, like, and the gold standard is capnography. And already, if you have it, it's connected to the circuit and monitor. So it will confirm uh, the, uh, and this gold standard to confirm the ETT. Uh, then if uh, other option, you can use ultrasound. And if you see the ETT passing the vocal cords and bronchoscopy in some cases, needed late uh, confirm signs like saturation on chest X-ray. If you see this graph like this in uh, capnography, this means that tube is in. And if you see like this graph, so the tube in esophagus, and you have to take the tube out and retry it try again uh, and uh, if if uh, the wave capnography is not available uh, the other option you can use a calorimetric uh, or co2 detector ultrasound if you have experience in this uh, you can use it easily to use and now available everywhere in the hospital so you can uh, if you see view like this uh, one uh, uh, air mucosal interface so this means that the tube in the trachea and if you see what's called the double tract sign, this means that uh, the tube in esophagus. And it can just be done by a linear uh, probe. And indirect sign, you can uh, uh, either uh, uh, to check the uh, you know, quality uh, ventilation in the lung to check what's called slightly dura sign bilaterally so you can do that the tube position is okay and there's good ventilation and as real time you can just put the probe uh, or transducer uh, to check the uh, during intubation check that the tube is going to the trachea uh, with uh, if we have expert intubator good pre oxygenation proper position of the patient sniffing for intubation with muscle relaxation with the scoby this all of these factors actually will increase first bus success and this is, should be our target to increase our first bus success uh, to avoid the, the risk to the staff and to the patient actually if you have difficulty and you couldn't uh, uh, intubate the patient you have actually three attempts maximum and the, 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 from the first uh, attempt failure you should call for help don't wait uh, to, uh, for, for more time and so you have maximum three attempts, and this is what's called plan A. So endotracheal intubation is according to the DAS algorithm uh, for uh, unexpected difficult airway. This year, wow, we are talking about unexpected difficulty. 
So as a plan A, you have three attempts maximum for the endotracheal intubation. If you fail, go to the plan B and C, which is uh, to try second generation sobraglytic airway. Uh, as I mentioned before, so uh, sobraglytic airway is uh, is in plan B. And if you fail and you try to put it again, so again, you have three attempts in between, you can use bag mask ventilation till you achieve the uh, sobraglytic airway in. Uh, if you fail, at the end, uh, uh, you go to plan D uh, because this is you are in what's called uh, CICO scenario, cannot intubate, cannot oxygenate. So you don't have a choice. You have to go to plan D, D which is front of neck airway and uh, uh, to do scalpic cricothyroidotomy. So plan A, plan B, and C, then uh, plan D in case of cannot intubate, cannot oxygenate uh, scenario. Uh, you know why three attempts? Because more than three attempts, all the complication will increase dramatically, uh, like hypoxemia, severe hypoxemia, 10, 9 fold, 14 fold, aspiration, bradycardia, cardiac arrest, all complications will increase uh, if you use more than three attempts. Uh, this is a vortex uh, cognitive aid. It help you to optimize your attempt if you fail first time and you need to repeat your attempt. Uh, so you should uh, should not repeat the same should not repeat the, the same mistake. You should look for what uh, what you miss in the first attempt. So uh, this cognitive aid will help you to uh, to uh, check everything. Uh, for example, uh, by by uh, by five factors: manipulations, adjuncts, size and type, suction, uh, oxygen flow, muscle tone. If you get an uh, example of tracheal intubation, you fail same uh, first time. So we should look for manipulation. If we put the patient in the proper position, head tilt, chair lift or not, if uh, external laryngeal uh, manipulation can help, if you put five uh, lit, uh, height, uh, the five centimeter height below under the head, if you uh, uh, didn't use bougie or started to use it in the second attempt, uh, and uh, uh, the size maybe, if you put bigger size, so use a smaller size, you could introduce it. Suction, do suction if uh, you didn't do it, and give muscle relaxation if it was not given previously. So this cognitive aid will help you to optimize your attempt uh, if you fail. Uh, and at any time, if the patient is desaturated or you are stuck with the CICO scenario, uh, cannot intubate, cannot oxygenate, so you can, as rescue uh, uh, tool, you can use subrogatic airway uh, to put it and maintain oxygenation till you uh, either uh, to and see till you uh, maybe uh, to see what the next to intubate through this or uh, to uh, uh, if not improve to uh, to do a cricothyroidotomy or front of neck access. So at any time, uh, uh, subrogatic airway is very useful and is a rescue therapy to maintain to save the patient life and maintain oxygenation. Front of neck access in the plan D. In the algorithm and guidelines, simply as I told you, it's uh, need the bougie and the tube size five to six and scalpel size ten to twenty. Define the cricothyroid membrane. Uh, they prefer to define it from the beginning during airway assessment. If not, you can define it now. And uh, if not uh, well uh, defined, uh, uh, you can uh, even use ultrasound to to help you to define the cricothyroid membrane. You can do incision and insert the buji, then you can slide the tube over buji, and that's it to save the patient's life and maintain oxygenation. Post extubation, so uh, put uh, nasogastric or gastric tube immediately, uh, order chest x ray, uh, avoid circuit disconnection. If you need to disconnect the circuit for, for some reason, so you should clump the tube to protect the staff from the secretions. Uh, if uh, COVID-19 is not yet confirmed, only suspicious cases, uh, so uh, send the uh, deep trigger aspiration uh, sample uh, using closed section, like here, uh, for, for the test, and proper doffing then of BBE, and order to discard disposable equipment safely and uh, to decontaminate reusable equipment accordingly, and complete intubation form, including the difficult, your uh, difficult airway plan. As a summary, so remember uh, our goals in this patient to be safe, accurate, and swift, to use recommended BBE uh, before approach the airway, and the most 
uh, appropriate expert operator should go for intubation. Uh, to define airway difficulty early to, uh, for your plan and preparation and use a checklist for uh, proper preparation equipment team and uh, patient. Uh, optimize your uh, first attempt of endotracheal uh, uh, intubation and decrease uh, uh, its success rate and follow the DAS uh, difficult airway society algorithm in case of unexpected difficult airway uh, uh, and uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.